Hey kids, uh, this is Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Ralph Chandler Middle School, sans Esposito, that means without Esposito. He is out sick today, poor little Esposito, but we're still here and I'm still here and so we're going to go on to a little bit of a lesson for math since we have the time. Um, estimate using round. Okay, this is 6th grade math, you're going to be seeing this, and 7th grade math, you're going to need this anyway. So, let's look at this. When they say estimate using rounding, they want you to round, which means get rid of the decimals, and maybe even round to something that's very easy to use. So you see a problem like this first one. 49 and 59 hundredths plus 16 and 22 hundredths. Well, we can round 49 and 59 hundredths up to 50. So we're just going to put a little 50 up right here. Okay? 50. 16 and 22 hundredths. What do you think you can round that to? Well, you can round it down to 16. Get rid of the decimal and just make it 16. But you can also round it to 20. Something a little bit easier to use. You want to do something where you can use mental math, okay? So let's make this 20. Plus 20. 50 plus 20? 70. Nice and easy, right? So, 49 and 59 hundredths rounds to 50. And 16 and 22 hundredths will round up to 20. And then 50 plus 20 is 70. Nice and easy. How about this next one? 62 and 61 hundredths minus 13 and 5 hundredths. Okay, you want to get rid of the decimals. You can round 62 and 61 hundredths to 63, but then with mental math, you're going to be adding things up and you're going to think, okay, this might be a little bit difficult. Let's just round that down to 60. Okay, so you can do that, 60, and you're going to subtract something from it. What's easier to subtract from 60? 13, which you can round 13 and 5 hundredths to 13, or 10. Let's make it 10. See how I'm doing this? I'm just giving myself easy numbers to use. 60 minus 10 is 50. Alright? <laughs> I just got the big L sign from Miss Cassiato. She thinks I'm a loser. I'm talking to myself. But I'm really not talking to myself. I'm talking to you. Now, 9 and 5 hundredths plus 1 and 42 hundredths plus 6 and 79 hundredths. Let's make these nice and easy. 9 and 5 hundredths will round down to 9. Plus 1 and 42 hundredths will round to 1. Plus 6 and 79 hundredths will round to 7. Alright? So we have 9 plus 1 plus 7. That gives us 17. And we have that one done. Okay? So if you didn't get that, rewind and watch again. Rounding using, sorry, estimating using rounding can be very simple. You are allowed to change those numbers to something that you can use. These are all acceptable and they're easy. All right, so that's it. Have a good um, Tuesday afternoon. One more day of school this week, Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, the kids have off. So uh, hopefully Esposito will be back tomorrow, and that's it. Have a good afternoon.